Hello and welcome to Thermodynamics 2 tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving a combustion HP problem. We have prepared a 25 degrees Celsius and one ATM that is burned with 400% theoretical air at 25 degrees Celsius and one ATM. The reaction takes place adiabatically and all the products live at one atmosphere atmospheric pressure and 942 Kelvin. The temperature of the surroundings, surrounding is 25 degrees Celsius and we're asked to compute the entropy change and the reversibility. Let's start by writing the combustion equation. So we have propane, which is 3C3H8, which is gonna get oxidized by air. So the oxygen and 3.76 nitrogen. So this we can call A. And then we're gonna have CO2, XCO2 plus Y of water plus Z of oxygen, plus nitrogen, and this we call the review. So we recall that in the previous uh, problem, we're gonna end up with four equations and five unknowns. So we first gonna assume theoretical air, theoretical air, and there's no excess oxygen. So we're gonna start by saying that Z is zero. So then we can find our equations. We're gonna have for C is gonna be three, equals to x. For h is going to be 8 equals to 2y. So y is going to be 4. Then for O, oxygen, is going to be 2a equals to 2x plus y. And then we will have 2z, but we say this is going to be 0. And then we're going to find a value of a of 5. Then for nitrogen, we're going to have A, 3.76, equals to W. Uh, we're going to find a value of W of 18.8. So now, we know how much of theoretical air we're going to be using. It's 5. And we are told that we use 400 of theoretical air. So that means that this is going to be 5. And I use another color, so this is going to be 5. And we're going to multiply this by 4 due to the 400 of theoretical air. Now, we know that x won't change, so x, x is still going to be 3, y is still going to be 4, but now for our oxygen, we're going to have 4 times 5 times 2 for the oxygen equals to 2 times 3 plus 4 plus 2 to z, and we're going to find a value of z of 15. So this is going to be 15. And then for our nitrogen, we're going to have 4 times 5 times 3.76 equals to do review. I'm going to find do review is going to be equals to 75.2. Now that we have the combustion reaction, let's find the entropy balance in order to find the entropy change. So we know that the net entropy plus the entropy generation is going to be equals to the change in entropy of the system. In our case, we don't have anything generating um, entropy. So we can rewrite this as equation as the entropy of the system equals to the entropy of the product minus the entropy of the reactants. And we can rewrite this as the sum of NPSP minus N of the reactant and R of the reactant. In order to find the entropy for all of the components, we, not, we need to do, go back to the tables and find the values. So now that we have found all the values, we can go back um, to our equation and plug in the numbers. So we know that the temperature of our reactants is 298 kelvins and the temperature of our product is 942 kelvins. So we just need to multiply and do the addition, addition here. And this is gonna give us 2200374.5 minus 1800.5. 776.50, and that's going to give a change in entropy of 3598.04 kilojoule per kilo mole. Now, for the second part of the question, we can say that I is going to be equal to the temperature times the change in entropy. This is the reference temperature, so that's going to be 298 kelvins times what we just found, so that's going to be 
0.04 kilo kilojoule per kilomol Kelvins or Kelvins are gonna cancel out. We're gonna find a value of I of 1072215.32 kilojoule per kilo.